Question 22. A random variable is normally distributed with mean 0 and standard deviation 1. The table gives the probability that this random variable lies between 0 and z for different values of z. The probability values given in the table for different values of z are represented by the shaded area in the following diagram. Part A. Using the table, find the probability that a value from a random variable that is normally distributed with mean 0 and standard deviation 1 lies between 0 0.1 and 0 0.5. The probability that z lies between 0.1 and 0.5 is equal to the probability that z lies between 0 and 0.5 minus the probability that z lies between 0 and 0.1. And from the table, the probability that z lies between 0 and 0.5 is 0.1915, and the probability that z lies between 0 and 0.1 is 0.0398, and the difference between the two is 0.1517. Part B. Birth weights are normally distributed with a mean of 3,300 grams and a standard deviation of 570 grams. By first calculating a z-score, find how many babies, out of 1,000 born, are expected to have a birth weight greater than 3,528 grams. Firstly, we'll calculate the z-score that corresponds to a birth weight of 3,528 grams. Using the z-score formula, that's 3,528 minus the mean of 3,300 in brackets divided by the standard deviation of 570, and that equals 0 0.4. Now the probability that z is greater than 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.5 minus the probability that z lies between 0 and 0 0.4, and that equals 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1554, and that value can be found by using the z-score table and that equals 0 0.3446. Now the relative frequency, so the number of babies born out of 1,000 that have a birth weight greater than 3,528 grams, is equal to 1,000 multiplied by 0 0.3446, which equals to 344.6, and rounding down to the nearest whole number, that's equal to 344. So therefore, 344 out of 1,000 babies born are expected to have a birth weight greater than 3,528 grams.